Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. Welcome to another episode of Interstitial Lung Disease Info. In this podcast, I tend to discuss about interstitial lung diseases, pulmonary fibrosis, and these sort of issues. So in this episode, I'd like to just answer a question that I received that is really, really pertinent, and that is whether UIP is a diagnosis in itself. So the UIP pattern is something that you may find on a report from a CT scan or a pathology report if you're suffering with an interstitial lung disease. And interstitial lung diseases are just basically conditions in which there is hardening of the lung tissue, potentially lung scarring that could be for progressive. So UIP stands for usual interstitial pneumonia. In itself, it's not a diagnosis. So this is really important. So UIP is just a description of the pathological process in the lung tissue. Also, this is where it gets really, really confusing, so hopefully this makes sense. It can also be a radiological pattern, so what we see on the CT scans. So when someone has pulmonary fibrosis, let's start this in a different way, this explanation in a different way. When someone has pulmonary fibrosis, lung scarring, usually a CT scan is performed. So this is a cross-sectional imaging uh, technique in which the person goes through a CT scanner. There are three-dimensional sections through the lungs we see a certain pattern of scarring on the lungs. And usually, when we talk about conditions such as idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, which is a specific diagnosis, we see this usual interstitial pneumonia pattern. There are certain criteria that define the usual interstitial pneumonia or UIP pattern on the CT scan. That in itself is just a description of the radiology on the scan. This is one thing, so let's keep this in mind, the radiology. Another thing that may happen when someone has pulmonary fibrosis is that there may be a biopsy of the lung being done. So this is taking a small piece of lung tissue. This could be done through a bronchoscopy. So basically a camera test where we take a little piece of lung to look at it in the lab and see what kind of pattern of scarring there may be on the lung tissue, on the actual specimen. That can also be done sometimes through a small surgery on the lung to take a little bit of lung tissue. Now, in most situations, I would say probably over 90% of cases, we don't need to do the biopsy, but in some questionable cases where we're not entirely sure what the diagnosis is, potentially there is a young person who has this undefined pattern on the CT scan. We're not entirely sure what it is, how it will behave, what type of treatment to give. Sometimes the biopsy may be needed. So we may get a pathological pathology specimen and the pathologist in the lab who looks at the slides from that lung specimen may also conclude that they are seeing what is called a usual interstitial pneumonia UIP pattern. That is the pathological term. There's also, like I said before, the radiological description, the pathological description, but it's difficult to call that a diagnosis in itself. It's a description of something that's going on, either a pattern of scarring or a pattern on the biopsy specimen from the lung. So this can get really, really confusing because you may see as a diagnosis on a letter, especially when the diagnosis hasn't yet been um, passed through the MDT, from, through the multidisciplinary team discussion, you may see basically a probable UIP pattern, definite UIP pattern, UIP fibrosis, this could be the title of a diagnosis and it can be really confusing. That's just basically a working description of what's going on in that specific case with that particular patient. Pending further diagnostic, diagnostic tests or just seeing how the disease will behave. Because at the end of the day, we may end up calling that case either a working diagnosis of idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, but this UIP, this usual interstitial pneumonia pattern, the same thing that we see on the CT scan or potentially on the biopsy specimen can be seen in other conditions as well. For example, we may see a UIP pattern on a CT scan on the imaging of the lungs. Also in conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis associated interstitial lung disease. So that can also be associated with a UIP pattern. Sometimes it could be in the context of asbestosis. So exposure to asbestos in the past that can also lead to a similar pattern. And also maybe other conditions as well could have that description of the radiology that is UIP. So this is why this question is really relevant because a lot of patients may be confused by all these acronyms that are being thrown around. UIP is a common one. Most likely it is associated with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, but it can be associated with other things. So it needs to be interpreted in the right context for each patient. 
So I'm not your doctor. I cannot <laughs> diagnose your case. So always, if you have a question about what the patterns mean on your scan from a radiology report, pathology report, a letter from your doctor, do go back to your team and ask what it means. Because in your case, it may mean something different compared to what it may mean in a, another person's case. And it's very hard for me to define each individual case uh, that you may describe in, uh, in the comments and things like that. So I cannot diagnose your case. I cannot provide medical advice in your own specific uh, situation. But I'm trying to create these videos to raise awareness of these things and try to clarify things as I go along because some of these explanation may, explanations may be hard to come by sometimes. I hope this was helpful. If you have further questions, leave them in the comment section below. It gives me great inspiration to create other videos that could be potentially helpful for others as well. Thank you very much for watching. All the best and good health.